Let's get more on this. Sean Michael Cox is Director of Economic Affairs and International Programs at Bajeshia University here in Istanbul. He joins me now in the studio. Many thanks for speaking to us, Sean. Firstly, how much of a blow is it to President Trump that senators, both Dem Dem Democrats and Republicans, uh, voted to take forward this motion on ending the support of uh, Saudi Arabia and Yemen? Well, it's considered a rebuke of President Trump's policies with respect to Saudi Arabia. In fact, it's really just a symbolic um, gesture. It is a Senate joint resolution, which means after debate next week, they're going to decide whether to move it forward to pass it to the House of Representatives to then vote on. And then if they support it, it would go to the president for signature. It is unlikely that the resolution would pass in the House because it is still currently under the control of the Republicans might be a different scenario beginning in the new congressional year but right now it's unlikely and definitely when it reaches president trump it will not be signed so what is the point of it it's uh, it's a way of signaling their displeasure with how the trump administration is addressing issues regarding saudi arabia the the death of uh, Jamal Khashoggi uh, struck very close to home because the United States thinks of itself as a moral leader in the world, which is a bit hypocritical considering everything that's been happening in Yemen to date. But also the Yemen uh, aspect has come more to the forefront as the scope of the humanitarian crisis, the number of civilian deaths have escalated there over the summer in particular. Uh, the, the key point about uh, supporting Saudi Arabia as well as financial reasons for the U.S. is uh, Saudi Arabia's role in countering Iran. But we've seen the U.S. create a vacuum in Iraq, which has allowed uh, Iran to flourish there. How, how much logic is there in this argument of uh, supporting Saudi Arabia uh, t to prevent Iran from getting any bigger? When Secretary of Defense Mattis was talking to the, the full Senate chamber, he said that the United States doesn't have any unblemished partners. And we have to deal with those partners as best we can to advance U.S. interest. And U.S. interest in the Middle East currently lie with Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia is the best counter to Iranian influence. And that's still the position that the administration is sticking with. How do you see this uh, playing out long term? Because uh, the Khashoggi story, it, it's, it's, it's continuing. Um, there's still focus on it. Um, and you've got uh, senators attempting to uh, raise awareness uh, about it, uh, but you say that they don't have any legs. At the end of the day, it is Trump who will make the decision. So where, where does this all play out long term? Well, there is the upcoming peace talk scheduled in Sweden in December, and it's the administration's position that passing such a resolution will actually strengthen the, ta uh, the hands of the Houthi rebels and that they will be less willing to negotiate. So Trump is trying to damp down any resistance to his position so that they can bring the rebels and the government to the table uh, in Sweden to discuss a resolution to the Yemeni crisis. I don't know how successful that would be. Okay, Sean Michael Cox uh, from Bacheshire University speaking to us in the studio. Many thanks.